Hello, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Jillian and if you are new here, thank you for checking me out. I really appreciate it. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the feedback, the likes, the comments. I just really appreciate you being here. I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite time of year. What time of year, you might ask? Well, it's planner season. So in these next couple of videos, I'm gonna be showing you all the planners that I am looking at for this year. And first stop, is the full focus planner. Let's jump into a top down view so we can unbox this. Okay, so this is the full focus planner. This is in the French blue. And I have to say that I really like love this packaging. It is just so beefy. I mean, look at this box. This is like awesome. And I think it's really efficient rather than putting it in a giant box with a bunch of bubble wrap. But so here is the book jacket to say yes or no to life's invitations based on your values, passions, and callings. That's bold. Megan Hyatt Miller. So this is a collaboration with Megan and her dad, who is Michael Hyatt. So Michael Hyatt created the full focus planner, which it says right there. But last, so there's a video that I can link below of the first year's planner that I purchased. And it was, they were all gray. You didn't have a choice of, you know, colors or anything like this, but there is a ton of beautiful colors on the website. If this is something that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend checking out their website. So the first uh, page is this beautiful, like, trees and birds. It's just gorgeous. And this color right here kind of is, you know, that same French blue color. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so before, like I said, there was absolutely no color at all. So this one is a little bit different because it's got this brown sort of mustardy color. Then you've got the getting started contents. This is new, this quote page, this mustard color, the annual goals. And see, there's all these different like spots of color. So goal detail. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So there's spot, room for 10 goals and there's a monthly calendar. So there's three monthly calendars. Now why that is, is because this is a 90 day goal planner. So that's why you only have three months. Now this is the rolling quarter calendar. So this is, um, or like a perpetual calendar. That's what I think of this as. So you've got that, so there's four, and then you've got your daily rituals. I think this is a very important page because it forces you to really look at the same, like the things that you do every day in the same order, like what's a different way that you could do it maybe in a different order that would be more efficient. So this is one thing that really helped me. Now you have your ideal week. So this is great too because it goes till nine o'clock and it starts at five, which I really appreciate because I am an early riser. So having that time frame at five is huge for me. And then it jumps right into your weekly. So you've got your daily big three, you've got tasks, and then you've got the schedule, which it starts at six, but they actually give you some lines. So you could start it at five and then continue it down to nine o'clock if you wanted to. I also like this huge page of notes because I am super messy throughout the day, like just scribbling ideas and things like that. And I really love this page. This is new too: the morning ritual, startup ritual, shutdown and evening ritual. Those are all nice. And then they kind of have the breakdown in this quarter. I don't know how well you can see that, but they have the breakdown kind of like that bullet journaling style. So that's, um, I don't know if that's a new option this year, but it goes through Tuesday. I know th these different colors obviously have been, you know, added because those weren't in there. So there's the first week, you go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now here is what is huge and what I love about this planner is that Saturday and Sunday have the same amount of space as the rest of the week, which is huge because not everybody works you know, Monday through Friday. And sometimes during, you know, this time of year, I do work Saturday and Sunday just because of open enrollment. So I like the fact that they give me just as much space because sometimes I'm super busy on the weekends. So then you have the weekly preview. Ooh, this is nice. This is new. I like this setup and I've got self care and then it goes, jumps right into the next week. So there's Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. Okay, then let's see what weekly review. 
And you know, did they change that to weekly review or re oh, it's weekly preview. Oh, so biggest wins after action. Okay, so this used to be like weekly review and then they have weekly preview, which is probably why they put in this page. Could be. Well, that's nice. Okay, so weekly preview. Let's see. So it gives you a bunch of different weeks. I'm just looking for the part where it, if the, the month end, if there's anything different here. So pardon me while I flip. Okay, it does not look like it splits at all. So that's good to know. The thing about, that I love about this planner, there's so many reasons why I love this planner, but I just wish they, it came in like an unbound version and it does lay flat. You do have to work it a little bit, but it does stay flat, which is nice. Um, but I wish they had it in an A5 binder size because I would, I mean, it would be perfect for me if it was A5 binder size because I like to add notes pages in, you know, random ideas. Yeah, so it looks like, okay, so quarter preview. So biggest wins after action. So there's um, little notes to help you think about what you accomplished. Then the rest of the steps. Notes. Yeah, so this must be where the notes start. So you've got notes. Okay, so this is different. Way more notes pages than last time. Oh, and sketches pages. So if you are a, this isn't dot grid, this is graph paper, but it's very light, which is nice. So you've got a bunch of those pages. Then you've got an index, which is cool too, because if you are someone who's writing down ideas for maybe a launch or something like that, you wanna be able to number what pages those important things were on. So this is really great. Okay, and then resources, and then the back page, and there's even a folder. Now this folder is very paper-like. So if you cram it full of stuff, it's probably gonna rip. So I wouldn't advise doing that, but it sure is cute. Okay, so here's the back. And then it also has the ribbon, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about this part, you know, this part coming off or trying to keep track of it. And then it does have two ribbons, which is nice because you could put one of these in your monthly pages up here just to refer back to it. And then you could do your daily page, you know, put the other one in your daily pages. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment, like this video. It really helps my channel when you like and engage with me. So I hope to see you. Well, actually, I cannot wait to see you in my next video because like I mentioned before, we've got a bunch of planner videos coming up because this is my favorite time of year. So hope you'll come back and join me for another one. Hope you have a great day.